Hello everyone, you might have a MacBook Pro or any Mac and somehow it doesn't start up properly or maybe it's broken up, it doesn't start at all anyway and you have very important data on it and you are really worried because you have to so now you need to take out the data from it you don't care about the computer but before you fix what you need is your information so today that's why i am here in this video to show you how easily you can recover your data without spending bulk of money from third party recovery companies all right so it's very simple so for this occasion i got one macbook pro 2011 12. the problem is uh, this one is not starting up properly. I will try my best to show you like what's the problem is So example if I press the power button It does turn on and When the bar goes middle of the way It would be turned off As you can see it's going on Few more seconds, please. Okay, so it shut down. Okay, the system has crashed anyway. That's what I found it because when I try to turn it on from the command option, it stays. It doesn't turn off. However, we are not focusing on that. We are focusing how we can recover it. So this machine comes with 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. I open up the screw already so all the information in hard okay if different model then might be instead of this they use SSD yes of course same procedure you just need a different equipment to recover the data so let's focus on that so now to recover the data we need few things first of all you need a working MacBook Pro or iMac you know ISO system then we need an adapter to connect whatever you have example if 2.5 set a hard drive then you need set a converter to the USB cable to connect it okay to recover the data and if SSD then of course you need to buy SSD caddy you can get it from online the price less than 10 pound on eBay and stuff make sure you buy the correct model so today the problem with that one so we'll try the complete procedure how to recover it first of all disconnect your battery if you do anything but that is very sensitive then take out your 2.5 set a hard drive where is your information is also you open the guard it will come up disconnect that. Now keep it somewhere. We are not focusing on that. Okay. So I got the converter. I'm gonna connect it here. Okay. And this cable comes with the converter anyway. So I'm gonna connect it here. Now I'll open up my working in this case I got MacBook Pro 2015 I'm gonna turn it on okay machine is on okay. so now it's very standard procedure what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect it to the USB I don't know you can hear the sound the hard drive sound in here spinning so it seems and the light indicator it shows is reading it so if you open a couple of minutes or second it depends on the system then it will pop up so if you wait for a couple of seconds or minute then the system will detect the driver will detect this hard drive 
as you can see it's popped up in the screen which is Macintosh HD and at the same time it's telling me like Mac OS can't repair the disk okay that's fine we just ignore this message now what you're gonna do if you open it up by double clicking okay that's the one procedure or if it doesn't show here you can go to go please on the screen you can go to go option and then from here to computer now also you can find in here if you can see machine to HD but I always like to go straight forward by double click open up that one now there are a few folders okay but your information would be located in users okay and rest of them this is related to the system um, system folders okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to open up user by double clicking then I can see there is one account which is Samurai Afro Samurai okay so I'm going to double click here and I can see all my information okay that is for my honorable customers okay uh, his uh, system was as you see what kind of problem he was facing and now we open up in that way so now I can see there is almost everything in here example download folders whatever you downloaded it should be in here you can see all the pictures then if you go back you can go to music yes there is music also just to make sure everything is fine we can play also we can play Because he's a DJ so as you can hear the sound okay. so it's working fine so what you're gonna do is very straightforward if you want to back up all the data one second let me turn it off if you want to back up every single thing then you need to copy the complete folder okay but this is just to show you as an example process so I'm not going to take everything what I'm going to do example let's say I need uh, this photograph okay example, or maybe from the document something example this CV which is document type you know or uh, what what file okay so I'm going to control C command C and I'm gonna copy into the desktop command B as you can see it's here already so if I open up it does work absolutely brilliant so that's how easy it is so don't be mad don't be full don't go to any shop and try to recover your data in case if there is no issue physically if your hard drive is not broken so it's better to give it a try maybe you can borrow if you don't have two MacBook Pro, you can get it from somebody, or maybe you can find a cafe where the system is with Mac. Okay, and the difference between um, Mac system and Windows system is Windows system. If you take out the hard drive, let's say your Windows uh, computer, which one has problem, the operating system was Windows Seven. So if you take it to another Windows Seven, still you would not be able to recover all the data because of some uh, BitLooker security options because if you try to get in they will show you there is nothing the par uh, access denied because of you don't have the permission because of that was uh, protected with the password okay so but with MacBook and Apple system is really straightforward connect your ex connect to your problems hard drive into working mode MacBook wait for a couple of seconds it will pop up like this the most of the time the name is Macintosh HD double click it open it choose the file or folder that you want to recover that's all that's how easy it is so still if you have any question regarding data recovery of your Mac and if you're a failure you need some help make sure you leave a comment below and please if you subscribe my channel that would help me and that would keep you uh, uh, keep me in touch with you and we can meet in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye for now